On May 1st, 1971, the National Passenger Rail Corporation, better known as Amtrak, took over Penn Central's passenger operations on the Northeast Corridor between Boston and Washington, D.C. For a while, instead of calling these trains by a common name, say, the Northeast Regional, it kept its predecessor's tradition of giving a different name to pretty much every train and schedule variant. And then just as you finally memorized the timetable, it kept changing those names. What were those trains called? Well, here are just a few from over the years. Between DC and NYC, there's Betsy Ross and the Bowery. Chesapeake, well, there were three, the Capitol and Embassy. Free State, Georgetown, Herald Square, President will get you there. Nightcap helps you get some rest, but Metro Liner speed is best. Murray Hill and Capitol Hill and Beacon Hill and Bunker Hill. Ride the representative or sleeper, that's executive. Walkers leaving from Philly every hour to NYC. Motive power from NJ. All named in the late 70s There's Edison and Garden State Big Apple and Keystone Wait! Quaker City, William Penn And the Philadelphian From Harrisburg you could hop on the Valley Forge up to Boston But when you catch it isn't clear The route kept changing year to year Two clam diggers now deceased These guys became Shoreline East Different hours Congressional And Boston's Bicentennial Springfield Bankers, that was great The same route had the nut State New Yorkers rode on the Wall Street and Fast Mail had just one and bleat. Richmond gets the Old Dominion, the Tidewater and Virginian Shoreliner used LRCs and Eastman span the NEC. Pilgrim Scoop, Old Minute Man, Bay State took a route inland. Senator ran all the way and Night Owl crashed in West Back Bay. Turbos ran the first few years but kept on hurting people's ears. Trains were named for Washington, John Adams and Jefferson. Some routes were a little like a CSM Cape Cod or Federal would let you sleep and Penn Line was the Chesapeake. Northeast Direct in 95 kept teams a few more years alive. Then the branding change that happened next left many riders real perplexed. So my ticket's on the Acela, but I don't know if it's the Acela Express or the Acela Regional. Or there's an Acela Commuter too. Help! On for the corridor today, Amtrak has found a simpler way. Most trains are painted with the same boring but familiar name. So do you think that it appears that just one name makes things more clear, or does it take away the fun to go from all those names to one? Like and subscribe.